these are GTA's craziest vehicles ranging from $1 all the way up to $10 million. Every one of them has a special feature which I'll be revealing in this video starting at the $1 vehicle. This is one of the bigger cars in the game which is the Marshall Monster Truck. With this truck you can even have one of the countries as a flag on the back which also decides what color the truck will be. You've got a total of 25 options, so pick whatever one you like the most. And since the truck is that high and has big wheels compared to the regular cars, when there's a lot of traffic on the road, you can easily drive over other smaller cars to reach your destination faster. For this big of a car, I would say that the handling and especially the speed isn't that bad at all. But while this might be one of the bigger vehicles, the next vehicle for $1,000 is the exact opposite. The BMX bike might be one of the most fun vehicles in the game if you know what you can do with it, since it isn't just a regular bike. If you're using the BMX normally to only pedal with, it's going to do nothing special. But there are three crazy tricks that you can perform with the BMX. The first thing you probably already noticed is that you can jump around with the BMX and actually bunny hop your way through the entire map if you wanted to. But you can combine this with the first trick. If you're up on a high building like the one I'm currently on, you can jump off it and perform a 180, 360 or even a 420. It gets even better with the second trick where you can somehow start to glide on the ground while being on your BMX. I don't know what the logic behind these physics are, but it looks pretty sick when you're doing it and it goes on for a pretty long time. I have no experience at all with the BMX, I used it maybe once or twice before, but this did take a lot of tries before I managed to properly perform this. You can also do some smaller tricks around like gliding on these sides with the front of your bike or even in the middle of it. But the third trick is even harder to do compared to the gliding trick because with this trick you're literally able to somehow climb up a wall with your BMX and go all the way to the top. I first searched around the map for a high building with a flat wall and tried to get as high as I could which surprisingly wasn't that hard. And after a while, if you correctly perform this, you can literally launch yourself all the way up the building and combine it with some of the other tricks. These mechanics in the games are crazy. There's even a dedicated BMX park added in the game right over here at Los Santos where you can practice different tricks and combine some of the tricks that I've previously shown. Up next, we got a $100,000 vehicle, which is the Panto car. You may ask why is this on the list because it looks like a grandma could be driving this car. Despite its small size, the Panto is actually surprisingly fast. Just by driving around with this car, it feels like this car weighs as much as a feather. It's really light and combined with a pretty high speed, it's a fun car for driving through the city. There are also some nice customization options available for this car, but a little reminder that the brakes of this car aren't that great and just with one sticky bomb, the vehicle will be gone. Then going up all the way to $1 million, we got the Caring Futo GTX. This is one of the best cars to use when drifting, but by default the car will come out looking like this, and drifting with it isn't easy for a beginner. Just by looking at this alone, this is not what we're going for. That's why if you're in Los Santos, you can install the drift customs on it, which makes the car way easier to drift with, especially if you drift like this. While you're upgrading the Karen Fudo GTX, you will see a lot of customization options, probably one of the cars with the most options available. You can turn the car from looking like this, all the way into this version, where you can now even see the engine of the car. Now driving on the road with the Karen Fudo GTX, it is a fun car to use especially when you go on certain roads where there are a lot of corners or even better if you go all the way into the mountains in this area where you can really drift from all the way on top towards the bottom. The speed of the car is also really good when drifting and handles pretty nicely. You do have to get used to knowing exactly which direction to use your steering wheel when driving but practicing it until your car looks like this will definitely give you enough control over the car. But if you don't want to practice that long to drift, 
you might like the next vehicle better that is going for two and a half million dollars which is the ram buggy if you edit this vehicle the first thing you will immediately notice is that it is a really low vehicle almost completely to the ground the ram buggy has a cage looking style around the vehicle but what you've probably already noticed is the unique shape which is the main reason you would want this car because of the shape on the front of the car you're literally able to flip 99 percent of the vehicles that comes in contact with you no matter how big or small they are there's only a small chance that you're getting flipped yourself with the ram buggy you can easily get from point a to point b without suffering from the traffic on the roads you can literally drive on the opposite road and ramp all the npc cars the only people that might survive a flip with these vehicles are the one on motorbikes but for an extra 500k we can get the cerberus the cerberus is honestly one of the most unique looking cars in the game featuring multiple customization options which i haven't seen on many other vehicles by default your car will look like this but you also have the ability to completely transform it by adding spikes to the sides changing the front where you can again add some spikes on it like the light ram reinforced ram heavy ram and many different scoops additionally you can equip the car with the proximity mine choosing from one of these options but what sets the cerberus even more apart is the inclusion of a flamethrower on top of the car surprisingly you can even add a second flamethrower onto the car which can be used for the passenger seat so if you have a friend in your car you can both use a flamethrower at the same time driving this car in free roam while using the flamethrower just looks crazy in this game but we're not done yet since there's also a boost on the car which you can use that allows you to somehow jump with this car while driving if that wasn't enough yet you still got the proximity mines that you can use to blow up some of the other cars on the road the cerberus is definitely a fun car to drive around and troll some players with now before we go to the most expensive vehicle for five million dollars you have the option to get the deluxo this isn't just a regular car because there are a total three different modes that you can put the deluxo into the first mode is just the regular standard driving mode which has a decent speed the handling on this car is really sensitive so when driving with it you will have to get used to it however with one press of a button you will see the wheels retract into the car and beginning to hover over the ground this allows you to glide along the entire road and even go over the water to reach your destination way faster but then for the third mode which is definitely the best mode on this vehicle this will activate the wings on the sides of the car transforming it into a flying vehicle you can easily fly all over the city as high as you want and skip all the traffic while it's not the fastest car in the air the ability to easily switch between those modes is a nice feature to have but that's not all since the deluxe also comes equipped with 30 missiles these missiles are really accurate especially when doing certain missions with it it can be really convenient missiles on other vehicles like the oppressor mark ii aren't always that accurate but with the deluxe so you get one of the better ones and finally the most expensive vehicle in gta online which is worth 10 million dollars is the luxer deluxe also known as the most useless vehicle in the game the main reason why this plane is so expensive is because of the golden color but for spending the 10 million dollars you do get a plane with a total of eight seats where you can bring in your friends or even randoms inside while you're inside the luxor deluxe you can also drink the champagne bottles that are in front of you and surprisingly you can actually shoot through these windows as a passenger for 10 million dollars this is something you buy to flex or just like wasting your money but if you're broke and don't even have money for any of these vehicles check out this video where i show you the best eight methods to make money in gta online that you can use right now